here with Logan and Giselle and we're gonna take a tour of their 76 Chinook. Yeah. <laughs> what, what year? It's 1976. 1976 Chinook. <laughs> All right, let's take the tour. Let's do it. Oh, the beer or not? Yeah. Oh, beer, beer is fine, yeah. It's PBR, so it works. Yeah. So tell, tell me about the truck. I've actually been looking for one of these for like five or six years now. I've always, when I went out west, I saw one out in Moab area. I've been trying to find one ever since and really hard to find in the east, but it's a 1976 uh -huh. Toyota Chinook. So all it is is a Toyota truck and then you ship it to Chinook back in the day and they convert it to a camper. So nice. All the practicality of, I guess, a modern truck back in the day, but uh -huh. you get to camp in it whenever you want. Sweet, and where did you find this thing? Uh, I found it in Winston-Salem. The guy bought it in Oregon a year ago. Nice. So it's been out west most of his life, all of his life. Right now we got Christmas lights in the tree inside. But it's just got a strap, I mean, it's pretty old school. It's just got straps that hold this top down. It's kind of sketchy, but it works. And then just like that, now you can finally stand up. The seats have been recovered in the last year, so but everything else is original. Still original carpet, original cabin, I mean, cabinets. The canvas is still original, obviously. But she's held up pretty well, I guess. I figure we get a little festive. Yeah. <laughs> but and, and he he updated it to where I mean it has like the factory plug-ins that run straight from the battery uh -huh. back in the day. But obviously you would kill your battery at night. But he updated it where he's got two batteries up front. One battery runs all the accessories, and he got a big power outlet up here that and you can power. It's got six outlets, and you can charge your phone while you're running the lights, charging camera stuff like that. Uh huh. And it can run like 42 hours, somewhere around there, before you need to switch the batteries. Okay. So it makes it pretty well. So one battery runs the truck, one battery runs all the accessories. So we can swap back and forth the charge on while you're driving. Okay, so this is just one battery that's basically under the hood. Well, right? it's, no, it's got two batteries under the hood. Two batteries. So, yeah, okay. one, one, of, one of them's, you got one battery for the whole truck. Uh huh. Obviously, it was running the truck, and you got the other battery for the accessories. But once you get to like 30 hour mark, you swap them back and forth. You can swap the cables back and forth and charge that battery up with the truck itself. While uh huh. Running. So you don't have to worry about the one battery dying on you when you're out. Like last night we had the lights on probably for, I don't know, probably two or three hours. Mm -hmm. And then all oh, you just swap the battery out. Like you swap the cables over and it'll charge it off the truck. Cool. And you don't have any like uh, heat or anything? No heat. No. no heat. I mean, luckily when you got the can when you got the top down, uh -huh. the canvas up, it's still pretty warm with a couple people in here. But sure. I mean, with the power you can get like a little, we were talking about getting a little space heater or something for this winter, winter time. But, no heat or AC, but I mean the windows and stuff will zip open and the windows slide open and stuff for in the summertime and get some air coming through, but uh -huh. still better than a tent. Sure. At least for me. <laughs> it warm. works. Like I said, we stayed warm last night. I mean, the dog was kind of cold, but we stayed warm. No, it's cozy. And this slides out, like I so said, you just pick this up and it slides out right here and it hangs off those hangers and so you get a little kind of bump bed up top. But oh, cool. I said for us it'd be small, but for her and the dog or stuff it'd fit. That's, it's kind of crowded, but for two or three people, I mean, it's pretty ideal for us. Because I wanted something small, smaller, so you can still drive it and be practical and still be able to camp it and be comfortable. Cause like I said, we were looking for vans and stuff, but I mean, this is, to me, it's better. It's just easier for us to use. You can still be able to stand up and still having beds. And sure, and it? Luxury like the sink and stove, so you don't have to worry about cooking outside. And, and it has character. And yeah, and it looks weird because nobody's really ever seen one around here. And as far as everything, all the paint, the truck itself's been repainted at one time, but all the fiberglass and stickers, they're still all original. So I mean, 47 years old, they held up decently well. Not much to look at, it's a go-kart motor, but it's a two cylinder, it's a 2.0 liter four cylinder. And it's in the last thousand miles, it's had head gasket change, the water, uh, water pump change, timing pump change. It's got an updated Weber carburetor, so get a little more power out of it. Uh, fuel pumps, like I said, just anything alternator, anything that can break or you would think break over time or age has been changed. Cool. Like I said, not much horsepower. I think they made like 75 horsepower from the battery. So not, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not much power at all, but I mean, it, 
It's enough for the truck, because the truck don't weigh much, man. The truck's a 2,200 pound truck from the factory, and then you got fiberglass on the back, so it's not that, it's, it's not really heavy for it. So it still gets 23 miles a gallon on the interstate. Nice, that's perfect. And around 19 around town, so I mean, it's not bad for what it is. Uh -huh. You just can't expect to go somewhere fast. Right. Like, so this is where he hooked up the new battery. Like, so that's just the factory battery that runs the truck and everything, and then all the accessories ran off this battery. So, I mean, I guess you could charge that at your house, whatever. We just, I figured it'd be easier to swap them back and forth while you're driving. Or, sure, uh, or one of them starts to get low. even throw a solar on top yeah. or something at yeah, some point. I was, I was wanting to, with having a fiberglass roof, it's, they're kind of heavy, so I was thinking maybe one day putting two smaller ones on the hood or something, this could be more supportive. Uh huh. And charge everything up without having to worry about swapping the batteries back and forth. Sweet. <laughs> it's, like, it's called a, a helix truck, is what they are. In fact, it's like a. Like their old Tacoma version back in the 70s. Right, right. But then it was sold in the US. <laughs> yeah, like I said, they were brought here. You'd buy one of these here. That's why most of them stay out west because Chinook was in Washington. Or, you know, Washington or Oregon. I'm pretty sure it's Washington. It's got on the back the little, the little thin stamp. But that's where the company was. So most of them were bought in California. Then people who lived in California sent them to Chinook to get the conversion done. That's why most of them stayed out west. Uh -huh. That's where they're all taken to. Most. Right. It's hard to get one really out here. It's kind of weird because everybody's asking, asked what the fender flares are from or how they find that, but this is off the old Corolla. I mean, they are they would be tiny little 205 wheels and hubcaps, but he put some Krager wheels on it. Big, I mean, I've obviously got pretty good wide tires on the back for what it should be. So, I mean, it gives a little more, I guess, kind of meaner look than it would. If you look at most of the pictures, they look kind of, I guess, old school, kind of girly looking with the hubcaps and their flares. Uh huh. Got a little stance to it. Sure. Oh, that thing is sick, man. Most people full like convert them to four-wheel drives, but it might be a long time down the road. It's a pretty good amount of money. Mm -hmm. And it's got like the CB, he's got, uh, the CD player in the glove box and stuff. Seems to be kind of modernized. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot the jumper cables. <laughs> Bottom just in case. Ford vans and Chevy vans all done. I mean, they're cool. That's what we wanted, but I mean, you also want something kind of different. I mean, obviously, you know. Really seen my, I've never seen one in person. I've wanted one for so many years. And this is the first one I've ever seen in person. So I wanted something still kind of different to kind of stand out from everybody. I guess it kind of does. No, it sure does. You get some looks. I mean, either mean looks you're going slow on the interstate or looks everybody thinks it's cool. <laughs> you know, they either love you or hate it. I mean, when he took it out west, he put gas tanks and stuff on the back that mounts on the bumper so you can drive. Don't have to worry about ever running out of gas out in the middle of the desert and stuff. Haven't run out of gas yet? Yeah, not, not yet. Like I said, it's getting good gas miles. I mean, I'm getting like 280 to a tank or 15 bar, 20, 20 bucks. It's not bad. Nice. Not bad for a camper. Uh, like, I don't know, they're crazy looking. Like, it looks like a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy design on the back. I wish mine had that. I saw a picture of them. Like, Dang, that looks sick. But these stripes are cool, but those are insane looking. It's more like an Aztec stripe than one of the versions of those. You can always repaint one and make it nice, but I'd rather show his age and Show where it's been. Do you have any plans? Where she wants to go. I mean, I like to think I, we, we, every year we go on a road trip out west. I mean, the last three years we have out of Colorado, Utah, and stuff like that. And uh huh. Maybe. I said I wouldn't go back again for a little while since I go every year, but <laughs> I mean, now that I have this, who knows? <laughs> Probably take it back out there. I think I'm going to Glacier. That's what we're talking about. So maybe Glacier, because. Sweet. That I actually have something that I can just actually sleep in instead of the back of a truck I've been doing. It might be a little easier. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want one of those t-shirts with the Chinooks on it, head out to my store, sapenbark.com. I'll link it below. And this is the last video of 2018. I don't know how about you, but this year was not easy and maybe in places, but we all made it through. So congratulations on that. I want to wish you and your families happy holidays and I'll see you in 2019.